Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 22 of Let's Play The Restoration of Rome playthrough for Crusader Kings 2. I am, uh, you know what? My my uncle is now the Basileus, Basileus, whatever, and uh, that's interesting. So, cool. I am, which also means that I actually lost power <laughs> because he's not my vassal anymore. So, I really didn't expect the former Basileus to say yes. What do you want? Yeah, sure, I'll be your marshal, uncle. <laughs> what a change. So now he's instantly at war in uh, some sort of a claim war. Um, unfortunately, I am not in line to inherit at all. Which means that even though I am the one that put him on the throne, somehow the game, I guess because of the... What, the succession law? Gavelkind? It's just going to my nephews? Is that... I mean... So it's going... Okay, here's here's the current guy. If he dies, it goes to Christanthos first, because he's the eldest male. Then it goes to the daughter who has sons. So there's a Roomba Caesar... And Arumba or Nicodemus Caesar. That's how it's doing that. Arumba, and it's actually not even that. It's, it's weird. So, that's not even right. Christanthos Caesar, is here. Got it. Okay. Adrianos Scleri Scleros. He's 17, while well, he's 16. You you are not even the right dynasty. You are not... I don't understand it. That is some screwed up Gavilkind succession there. Because... Agnatic, Cognatic, Gavilkind. Agnatic, Cognatic. Women can inherit, but only if there are no eligible males. So... Uh, under Gavilkind... He should inherit. I just, I just don't understand where the hell these two people come from. It should be men of the di I don't know. Whatever. It's silly. Sometimes I just... I don't know. Clearly the only solution is going to be to murder those people <laughs> until it's something that I like better. Like you, you have four intrigue. Can we kill you? Yes, that will fix the problem. We'll just murder my nephew. And hold a feast. And go on a hunt. And have a fair. We'll do all the things. We do need to start trying to convert this. Hey now, get out of my land. Eric's monk. Um, take that one. Time to go on a hunt. I know I lost Diligent at some point, so I'd like to try to pick that up again. Hopefully we don't die. We've become wounded, though. That's too bad. We'll have a feast to try to get some more people to... Yep, look at that. We recover from wounds pretty darn quick. We'll throw a feast in order to try to get people to join this plot to kill the person. My liege has moved his... <laughs> my uncle liege has uh, moved his capital back to the main place. He's still infirm. No regency. He's not incapable. He's just infirm. Minimal city taxes. Sure. Whatever. And because of his brilliant strategist trait, he'll probably live for a while, actually. I don't like that stack. I am very weak without my former uncle like vassals land he was providing the vast majority of the troops 
This is weird! Alright, um, come on, this feast needs to end so that people will come to the plot. I'm gonna bribe you. I will bribe you. And I will bribe you. And I think just by bribing them it will put them in that list again. Yeah, it automatically did it. Basilius Arumba has folded to the demands of the faction for Damian... What? Okay, so my uncle has just decided that he is no longer the Basilius. He's got a strong claim. Now his heirs are Arumba Caesar, which I assume is me, but it's kind of complicated because I named so many people Arumba Caesar. <laughs> I don't know for sure. It could be somebody altogether different. But, um, so he has a strong claim now. I guess, I guess it kind of sa satisfied its thing, but he's not my vassal. He's actually directly beneath that guy, so, um, that pisses me off. Okay, um, start a faction. We can try to put him back on the throne again. He is my ally. At least he should be. No, he's not. He's not even my ally. Yes, he is. Cannot call to war, though. How dumb. So I guess murdering my nephew is not really necessary anymore. I mean, he is my nephew, but... My half-sister made him. He's not of our dynasty. Let's kill him. I just... I don't like him. Loose end. He's a scleros. He's not my nephew. He's just some stupid kid. Come on! Let me do something. Alright, we have 87.5% of the power of the, of the guy again. This is really weird. I'd like to get maybe another person involved, but uh, let's just do it. We'll demand installation again, see what he says. Meanwhile, we get a claim on another county. So are, is the is the crown law changing? No, still medium crown laws. We can't actually press these claims. War it is. Okay, so this time there's a massive war. And we can call in vassals of our former liege. So we'll claim in. Ev we'll call everyone and just see what they say. And we'll also call in these guys. And we'll get a little bit of pop-up spam here. Kind of find out where these people all stand. So it's kind of hard to say. Um, it looks like somebody that controls this land. Who was it? Who controls the land above you? That guy. Yeah, so he honored his call. So we should win this war pretty easily. But we'll combine up our troops anyway. And uh, march over to Constantinople and hope that we have a superior force that we can use to trash just crush the new Bas the Basilius changes hands every couple days it seems like and I'm gonna continue to try to murder uh, did you get called in against us what are you doing 
attacking in the Dejour War. No, no, no. None of that nonsense. Not gonna take over my uncle's lands while we're at war with the Basilius. go well. This is gonna go, this is gonna end well. I think. Kind of bad modifiers, but nice strong advantage in troop count. I do not like Bulgaria doing that. I'm trying to take my uncle's land. They're assaulting like crazy. What are you doing? Get this army over here and help me. No! Alright, looks like we can escape, maybe? Barely? I guess I'm not going to be able to help you out, Uncle. I don't know, you, you're being stupid by putting your troops here. Army of the Bringing Guard. What the hell is the Bringing Guard doing there? Such a complicated mess. Where is uh, the 16? What are you up to? Come help us. Don't worry about your own war. Come. <laughs> this is important business. Get your ass over here. Meanwhile, this plot fails to fire, of course. So we should totally send money to more people. Because there's not. it's not like there's more important things to spend money on. We need to murder our nephew. Die, nephew man. There we go. Fire it. Will this make me a Kinslayer? That's the real question. I think the answer is... Maybe. I mean, I feel... I don't know, we've got like enough men. Succeeded not knowing the name of his killer. Perfect. Um... Now... Uncle... Have you... Have you is your stupid family spawned any other? That's probably who's actually in line to inherit, not me. But he is of House Caesar. So that's okay. Suspicious accident. But this guy, Scleros, was in the list too. So let's see if we can kill him. Not a lot of support, but we'll do it anyway. I don't know, I just see I see troops standing around, so I feel like we've got a superior force. It looks like my uncle lost that county already. He gave up. What a pansy. What a chicken. All these people refused us. Bastards. Be brave. No. Brave is better than zealous. Stupid sister won't join me. I'm frustrated again. Getting a little frustrated here. Come on now. We are winning based on occupation. So that should increase quickly. Because as soon as the first, first couple of them fall, you end up getting tons of cities and temples beneath them. Um, so now we're up to 35%. Battles wise, the, it's just like there's no real battles happening. Constantinople takes forever to siege because of that silly level 13 fort. But um, I feel like. Uh, why do I have raised levy? Where is this levy? Oh god, I totally forgot I had a. <laughs> kind of forgot I had a county down there. Um, that would be a good thing to remember. Let's find a county that doesn't have any troops raised, or any troops available. Go there, and... Sorry, it doesn't have any garrison, that's what I meant to say.
Nope, nope. And what are we gonna do? Where can we go? I just, we'll just go here. We're actually up to 55%. Occupation is really helping out. If Constantinople does fall in a year... <laughs> I mean, it, it might literally take a year. 1.4%. Let's just quickly do the math. That's about 1.2%, which would take... 10 ticks would be 12%. So 30 ticks would be the, the remaining 36% morale. So a little bit less than 30 ticks of 12 days. So that'd be about 10 months, yeah. So a little bit under 10 months. Rough math. Guestimation math. I got so much weaker when he came out from underneath my as, as my vassal. And he actually got weaker too, because had I been in control of his his army, I think we could have stopped this stupid Bulgarian guy. This Bohemian Bulgarian. What the hell? But, uh, no. No, no, He wants to be independent from me. Oh, bastard. And the Basilius actually has 1,400 men in my land. He came to me because I am the leader of the faction. I'm the leader of the war. But I'm pretty sure we can finish sieging this and maybe even take a, a town and then still make it back in time to, to take this. Prevent that from falling. Meanwhile, Constantinople's still ticking away here. This could be very interesting. Constantinople being the capital will be worth roughly 75% more. And it looks like he's either starting to take some stuff back or, I don't know, we're still only at 59%. Frankish, Frankish, Italian. Um, my daughter, we shall marry to a a Greek boy. A Macedon, actually. Sounds good. They're the former Basilius family. Whatever. Just a lowly count now. And that is coming up soon. These two guys are fighting. That's good. Alright, so you took the capital, but then you left. Why not take the city? You don't have enough men. It takes 1,600. You didn't have enough troops to actually take it, so we had to leave. Okay. Meanwhile, we are going to need to take this out now. Up to 87%. I've become maimed. Who knows? Maybe I will end up dying before my uncle ninety five percent this might do it I'm getting really close let's go take that city and actually um, I'm gonna take a break here even though we're really close I think that uh, I want to take a break here because I've got, to th I've got to think for a bit about how we're going to handle this. Because I'm maimed, my uncle is uh, 65 and infirm, it's it's a questionable position to be in. Because the the Byzantine Empire is on Gavilkind succession while I am on elective, so I could very easily change my, my mind right now and put my son as my heir. So, I'm going to take a break here, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, see you soon.